everybody, it's your old pal Ron Howard. And you know what's really great about my job? Is sometimes I get to try out new cool things. And I get to bring that to you because I guess I'm a giving person or I'm glutton for punishment. Probably a little bit of both. But check it out. Slow motion. Oh, what is that? That's right. Yes, yes, yes. This is the brand new Culp FPP-128. There are a lot of outputs on this thing. Has a big old bone black on there. You can see the screen nice and bright. I have a nice little adapter here, which is my Sound Blaster Play 3. Uh, that I'm plugged into my headphones and the sound is perfect. There is also a jack on here that's a 3.5 millimeter output. Now, I couldn't get that to run. That's probably because I don't know what I'm doing and I'll figure it out. But I can tell you, this board is uh, its pretty dang amazing. That's a lot of outputs. A very lot of outputs. And I'm going to... I'll add on to this video from the screen so I'm not showing a picture of my screen because video just sort of sucks that way. I'm using a Meanwell 50 watt 5 volt power supply. Uh, it's best to power the board with the power supply. This is a beta board and so far uh, <laughs> it looks like it's production ready to me. Now I have it set up only with three receivers. I don't know which receivers they are. Some are smart, some aren't. I just let it go. I just leave it on standard because I don't daisy chain my receivers. But if I did, you can tell it in the settings and I'll go over that in a little bit uh, where you can make all those changes. But I have three Gilbert Engineering praying spiders. This is one of the Gilbert Engineering king. Uh, goodness, what? Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, it's a king something. Anyway, and a couple of triple arches and the triune tube, and that's enough. Uh, could I spend a lot of time and fill up every one of these? Yeah, but you know what? I just, man, do you know how much work it took? Look at this rat's nest. How much work it took just finding everything, plug everything just right to get the outputs right. You would think I would just know the stuff inside and out and second nature, but no, it's not all of the case. You gotta test, you gotta test, you gotta test. So anyway, Again, this is the board, and now I'll be right back. I'm going to transition, so... Well, actually, let's not do that. Hey, you know what? You want to see a sequence play? Why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? Okay, let's go up here, and let's just hit play. Oh, my goodness, goodness, goodness. Look at it go. You can see there it's giving you all the information of what's playing. It's going to tell me elapsed time... Uh, this is degradation rules. Don't question it. Uh, it is playing out of the speakers. I've turned it down real, real low because this is not the clean version and I don't want your kitties to hear any of this stuff. But anyway, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That is the King Diamond, by the way, whose name was escaping me. But... And it's pretty ambient in here. It's a lot of light in here, so don't worry about that. Everything is working perfectly. And that's just three of the serial outs. Just three receivers. And I just grabbed cables. I didn't try to grab new cables. I grabbed ratty cables, tape old cables for ethernet. I didn't care. I just grabbed stuff. I wanted to see. I didn't want to do all brand new. I just wanted to grab stuff and see what can I get from this. And for someone like me who loves using receivers for their shows for Halloween and Christmas, this is awesome. You can see there's a couple of DMX outputs right there. Sweet. And again, the barrel for audio, I'm using Sound Blaster Play 3. This is your 5 volt in. There's our Ethernet input, 
SSD cards right here. Uh, I was also using uh, this guy right here earlier. I just wanted to make sure to see if I could use the output, the USB output for Ethernet, and it worked fine, because I want to test everything that I can. Uh, will I test every one of these outputs? I, I don't know. I suppose I could, but uh, I've got sequencing to finish up, so um, Dan said he'd send this to me and let me check it out, and uh, it's... Uh, Wow, it's 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 pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right, let me transition over to the software side so you can get an idea that you've seen enough of the sequencing and we'll catch you in just a All right, so let's get into this thing. What is this controller all about? This is the Culp FPP K128. Here we go. So this is the Culp. The description is simple. Everyone should use this. The description is Badass. Okay, Culp lights, K128 dB, B for Beagle Bone, uh, auto layout, auto size, full control, 20% brightness, my IP address. I'm using E131, don't hate. DDP works, yes. And let's check out the visualizer. Here's how I set everything up, ports one through 12. How many ports are on this thing, Ron? Dude, I'm so glad you asked that. There are exactly 100 28 ports that's a lot that is a lot and you're probably thinking hey ron um what are the limitations oh so glad you asked all you have to do is go not there but go here to culplights.com click on the product and read through everything just read through it remember it does require fpp 6.1 or newer uh, the pre-production test unit, which is one that I have, uh, I'm testing. I will be testing it in my show. Uh, Kate Beaglebone, it's just got all this information. I'm not going to read over this, so check it out. Read up on it. Uh, don't be one of these people that go there. Hey, how many pixels per port can I get at 40 frames per second if I daisy chain 20 of them, huh? No, don't do that. Just read. Just read this stuff. I don't daisy chain my stuff anyway. So there you go. All right, so let's look at everything else. Um, from here, tools, FPP connect. Oh, by the way, when I sent it from here, upload output, it did that just fine. Absolutely no problem. Sent everything there that it was supposed to. When I did the FPP connect, that also found the device right away and it allowed me to send everything up. I sent my models and UDP out once, and then I turned that off. And then I actually have a uh, playlist if I wanna send to that. That all works, so that's fantastic. And let's just, uh, yeah, let's just open this bad boy up. There it goes. I've got two of them, boom. And, well, we don't need this one. There we go. So here's the status page, Culp test. If I click on this, I can hit play, it'll play, it'll play uh, the song just like it did a while ago. I can set the timer, schedule, all that stuff works great. Here's my volume, I turned this way down because I'm using my headphones to test with. Nothing different there. Network, just like you would see with FPP, everything is pretty much the same. I didn't notice anything different. Multi-sync, the same version for FPP is 6.1. Uh, we come down here and FPP settings. This is where you go to change settings for your output device. There is a DaVinci. I believe this is the onboard. I'm not really sure. I tried it, restarted, and I didn't see any. I couldn't, well, didn't see. I couldn't hear anything. So I reached out to Dan to ask about that to get some clarity. The rest of this is all the same. And then we get to our display testing. And as you would expect, FPP test mode, all my lights are on right now. If I just want my Arch One, guess what? Arch One is on and then disable that. So nothing is different there, okay? Content setup, all the same. There's my music, there's my sequences, uh, there's my playlist. Input, output, here's my input, no big deal, that's not turned on, but my output, oh, indeed, 
enable K128DB. Yes, that's a good idea. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. And look how much more I have to go. 128. That's just that's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. What we got? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what that is? That's 32. 32 times 4, 128. Beautiful. Beautiful. And it's still a pretty small footprint. Now, I've ordered a case that I'm going to put this in with a glass cover like I have my other one. And uh, I think it's going to be gorgeous. All right. I'm probably going to have to do a lot of holes, though. But that's okay. So we've done this. We've done the inputs. We've done the outputs. It all just works. I think this is the cat's meow. This is really super cool. And I did tell you earlier that you can set it to smart one, smart two, depending on the type of differential receiver you may have. And you can configure that throughout every one of the serial outputs on here, all 32. You could have 32 different types of receivers. It'll work with them all. As far as I know, it works with them all. It doesn't care. I just left mine on standard. Everything works great. There's also a test pattern here. I click that from here. Everything is on. I don't have to go to my uh, test button elsewhere. I can stop the pattern and it's off. So I do really like that. I don't know how long this has been on here. Maybe this is on all of them. But uh, if you have any questions, I know I'm rambling on. I'm just pretty excited about this. When I first heard about this, I was like, oh, no, 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 you don't, Dan Culp. And then he did it. And it's here. And I even changed the name to Extreme FPP K128. Because this board is damn extreme. It just is. So read up on it. Be ready. This is going to be one for the books, I think. It's just, it's just so cool. I mean, I, I love my Falcons. Trust me, I do. I've used them since 2016. But I'm, I'm really kind of drawn to the Colt family of controllers. I just really like their purpose in my shows. If I want to run my entire show from any one of my controllers, I can. Or I can use a standalone FPP uh, with Raspberry Pi. Either way, it all works. It's just backup after backup after backup, fail safe after fail safe. So I really dig that. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope this has been beneficial. Sorry to be so excited, but uh, this is just a whole lot of fun to play with. All right, I'm gonna go and uh, maybe plug in another receiver. Yeah.